This is Twit. Apple's apparently working on touchless control and a curved iPhone screen. It wouldn't be the Ooh. first curved iPhone screen we saw. Uh, we saw, of course, LG did a curved iPhone or curved iPhone, a curved Android phone uh, several years ago. Um, I would be very curious to see how that gets implemented because apparently they're going to sort of curve it more and uh, or maybe put sort of a Bezier French curve on there, which uh, is something we haven't seen before. But I'd be very curious to see how that works out. And also, apparently, the OLED screen from the iPhone 10 is going to be showing up in additional models. Ask us more in June when Apple does their big reveal of uh, the next generation models. I'll be curious to see what kind of curve they're actually talking about, whether it's yeah. like a one one dimensional curve, like where you just have a nice, I don't know, like almost a banana to it. If you wanted a phone that shape, or are they looking at something more like the Samsung edge designs where you have the edges that, that do that nice roll off on each side like that? I guess we'll see, but I, it seems unlikely that they're going with anyone else besides Samsung for the time being for their displays, despite all of the, the news items that have dropped throughout the last few months related to <laughs> Apple, Apple exploring other display technologies, be it micro LED or others. Um, I actually, that's probably yeah. the only thing that's really going to try to challenge what OLED's doing as far as a handheld display goes. And it's it's my absolute favorite handheld display. I, I, I dread the day I have to go back to an L C D based mm -hmm. cell phone, but you know, uh, I guess time will tell. According to Bloomberg, quote, Apple is also developing iPhone displays that curve inward gradually from top to bottom. Yeah. Uh, different Banana. from the latest Samsung. Yeah, instead of well. the Samsung smartphone screens, which <laughs> curve down at the edges. So. Trying to recreate, I guess, a classic look, and then it becomes mm -hmm. more about usability. You can't you can't curve it too much, otherwise it becomes right. a little unwieldy in terms of using using your thumbs and fingers on the touchscreen display itself. But but yeah. if it requires not touching it at all, where you can just do gestures in front of your phone, I personally have no desire for that whatsoever, unless unless it works <laughs> damn well, or or it's practically mind reading me at that point. But we'll we'll see, you know. I, I love your sense these. of adventure. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, a little practical. I, I just want it to work really, really well. That would be good.